This thing should have some power behind it, dude. That plus you can just hard park it. Yo, later, bro. Nobody pray for me. It been a day for me. Yeah, yeah. Here they go. I don't know if you can even see them on the camera. It's crazy that it's like a statewide I know, it's actually a problem right now. You guys can't even see this right now, but like if you walk anywhere right now in Vegas, there's these grasshoppers that are literally everywhere. Yo, that one's chilling. Yo, look. Look at them on the side of the house. One's there. One's there. Yo, look at it. Right now, there's actually like a grasshopper problem in Vegas, but our gas stations, because they're like such bright lights right there, are like flooded with them and the whole ground's covered in grasshoppers and it's like all over the news. It's hilarious. Really Mop Boys chains, baby. Limited. Oh my god. Yo, oh, we just landed so fast. What the hell is that thing? That's an Alsaka bean. An Alsaka bean, that's a Pinto bean. All right, so today, wait, where is that scooter? That's it, it has no plastics? Um, we're gonna finish, we're gonna do the tandem scooter we've been talking about. Tandem, woo, the crowd goes nuts, yeah. Tandem scooter, one in front of the other welded together. This is, no man has done it before. Look at the, the rocket scooter, what are we gonna do with this thing? Side cart scooter? That'd yeah. be pretty easy. There we are. God, bro, look at them. Oh, I can't even get inside, they locked the garage. <laughs> 50cc, um, 139 QMB versus Grasshopper. Oh, he won, bro. He won. He's gone. He juked you. I think it's actually bad luck to kill a grasshopper. Before we even think about starting this video, hit the subscribe button. Go in the description, get yourself a Mop Boy sticker, support your boys, and keep these ideas coming and get some crazy stuff going. Yeah, so we can quit our job. Yo, yeah. Buy some stickers. Just buy like 100,000 stickers so we can just quit our job and just only do moped stuff. And just yeah. stop being depressed. Like this kid Dan right here has I'm literally so not left his house. Right now. I don't even know how to get out of here. Yeah, yeah, he's been trapped. Sal just bought a sticker and now I'm making my way out. Yo, thanks Sal. <laughs> Go get a Mob Boy sticker. Help help the boy Daniel out. Alright, so first things first, we're stripping this moped completely down. Um, we're gonna not even end up using the front wheel or nothing like that. So take it down to raw frame and uh, then we'll go from there. Dude, basically the whole harness is already unhooked. What is this? I'm by one ten millimeter. A ten millimeter and like an eight is like all you all you need to take these Chinese scooters apart. Alright, well within literally five minutes, the scooter is completely stripped down, everything's out of it. Um, so basically what we're thinking is, first we gotta figure out how weldable these forks are. It looks like they actually weld them, OEM right there. Um, but we plan on basically welding along this whole front edge, right to the back of here, leaving it where the rear scooter still turns using the headset. So we're literally just gonna drop the forks from these bolts right here, um, drop the whole forks out, and then see where she goes. Raw chassis, this one's, only this one's gonna have the 150 motor in it. This motor's blown, we might eventually, depending on how the scooter is, put another 150 in the back, back here. Um, we don't know, we have a few ideas. We might end up literally taking the handlebars off and making it one long seat that's a solid scooter too. So, we'll see how she goes. <laughs> it look bad. That's prime if we get it right there. 
That's it. Like how much of the slant that screw up. No. All right, she's grinded it off. Grinded it off. Might be a little sketchy with uh, the difference in thickness of the metals, but the wheel's gonna be right here, literally, so there's not too much leverage of where it could break. Um, and we're putting it on top, so if this does weld good, we should be set. Tack together. Yo, this is gonna be nuts. Looks sick. It looks insane. Let's see how she looks in the back. Oh yeah, bro, she's straight as an arrow. Alright, let's finish the tax up before we're out of gas. We gotta get her done before we run out of gas. Get her done. Hit her with it. You gotta hit that trailer swing. Hard. Dual kick down to Johnny's. You're gonna pull it out. Screw <laughs> it! <laughs> Pretty sure this thing's dialed, dude. Yo, I love how slaves in the back one's like doing a wheelie. Literally first ride down the driveway, almost died. It leans so weird. <laughs> See, it's when you turn it, like locks it. You overturn, you gotta weld it different in the back. Yeah, it drags the rear. Well, we'll have to get this thing running and see what she's actually like. It might be one thing you just gotta get used to. <laughs> High centered. When you're going straight, you're oh, you just can't make on. like no straight U turn. Yo, I think that once the motor's running, this is actually gonna be dialed. I'm almost positive. It's just because you got no power right now yeah. to pull yourself out of the turns. <laughs> what if the throttle was hooked up to the rear one? That'd be so sketchy. Roll up to the car meet on it. Park it like this. Dude, that thing looks tough. I think what we should do is at least strip that motor down to bare so it's light as possible too. All we gotta do is get this scooter running now. There's a few things of wiring we gotta figure out, but that's a 150 motor in it. So this thing should have some power behind it actually. Hard park it. Yo, later, bro. This thing is a mission to turn, but I think we're gonna literally we're gonna take as much stuff off this motor as we can, since the motor's not useful at all, and make it just a little bit lighter. We probably shave like 20 pounds if we actually strip it right. We only need the motor literally just to hold the back wheel on. Let's give this baby a cleanup, bro. Hard park. She's looking good. All right, let's clean this thing up and see. Uh, hopefully we can get plastics for it so it looks a little bit better, but comment down below what color you guys think we should spray paint this thing. If we should go super bright with it or flashy or whatever, comment below what color we should do. This, this thing's gonna be funny as hell when we actually get it running. All right, well here she is. Just sprayed her down. Cleaned her up a little bit, that way we don't have all the gunk and stuff built up on it when we're working on it tomorrow. But tomorrow we're going to get this thing running and uh, I guess go for the first test drive. After that we're just going to end up making it look nice, paint it. So that's going to be tomorrow when we get it running. So it should be running in the next video. Uh, make sure to check out the description, support your boys, subscribe so we can keep doing fun stuff like this.
and leave a thumbs up if you guys are stoked for this. It's going to be hilarious.